whenever there is an order relating to the job shop production so each of the order it requires a unique technical requirement detailed planning is essential for sequencing the requirements of each product capacities for each work center and order priorities limited number of products produced at regular intervals and stock awaiting sales so it has to be stocked until it is sold hello everyone i am purnima faculty in the department of commerce and management vidyashram first grade college temple of excellence mysore i welcome you to this session in this session 4 we will be having a discussion on the various classification of the production system so in the previous class we have studied about the production system now in this we will be studying about the classification of production system now let us see what the session holds for us so in this classification of production system we can see that production systems can be classified as job shop production batch production mass and continuous production systems now there are four systems in the production system first system is the job shop production so this is the first one job shop production after this we have the batch production then mass production and continuous production so here you if you can see here we have the output and the product variety and we have the production and the operation value uh, volume here so if you can see here in the job shop production the output is very low if you can see the output is very low and if you can see here in the batch production so there will be some uh, compared to job shop production the production of batch production will be higher then in case of mass production also the production will be slightly higher and in case of continuous production the production will be very high so this is based on the uh, volume of output so if you can see here the least volume of output uh, relates to the job shop production now we will just uh, understand what is the meaning of the word job shop production so job shop production are characterized by manufacturing or of one of you quantity of products designed and produced as per the specification of customers within the prefix time and cost now job shop production refers to you will be having the product based on the specifications of the customer so based on the you collect the customers orders and then you start the production for example a very good example is the fabrication so when you have a fabrication uh, factory or something unit like that so the customer will come and he will order for the number of windows he will be having in his house so it may be 8 to 10 windows or it may be the grills for the balcony or it may be the grills for the gate etc so whatever his order so the quantity of the order and the quality of the order the design and the time period within which the order has to be just Uh, finished completed etc everything will be decided by the customer himself so it will be a brief at the prefix time and cost so he will also decide what is the quality of the product he needs so all this will be prefixed and everything should be as per the specification of the customer itself so this kind of a job shop production so this has the lowest value of output so depending on the construction of the building fabricator will get the order as such so the distinguishing feature of this is low volume and high variety of products now in the job shop production the volume of production will be low but the there will be a variety of production so what is the kind of a design you need for the windows all that there there will be a variety of uh, products which will be offered to the customer and he will have to just choose from the wide variety of products offered for him so a job shop comprises of general purpose machines 
arranged into different departments. Now, in a job shop, you will have machinery. So, this machinery will be used for a general purpose and they will be arranged in the shop floor of the job shop and each job demands unique technological requirements. For each job, there will be technological requirements, demands, processing on machines in a certain sequence. So, whenever there is an order relating to the job shop production, so each of the order, it, it requires a unique technical requirement. So, for each design, there will be a different technical requirement and there will be demands processing on machines. So, what is the process you will be doing on the machines in a certain sequence? So, there have to be a sequence to be followed in uh, when you are just uh, processing the order in case of a job shop production. Now, let us understand what are the features of job shop production. Here, there is a high variety of products and low volume. The variety of products will be very high. So, you will have a very varied choice of goods here, but the production is low. Then, there will be use of general purpose machines and facilities. So, the machines used here will be of a general purpose. Then, highly skilled operators who can take up each job as a challenge because of uniqueness. So, this will be a highly skilled uh, personal you need in order to fulfill the order whatever you are receiving. Then large inventory of materials, tools and parts. So you need to have a stock of iron. So what is the kind of iron you need and what are the various tools, what are the various parts, everything has to be kept in the inventory. And detailed planning is essential for sequencing the requirements of each product, capacities for each work center and order priorities. So, in case of a job shop production, we need to have proper planning. So, how do you plan for the requirements of each product? So, when you get an order, then you will have to decide what is the raw material you need? What is the quality of raw material you need? Then what are the requirements of each of the order and capacity for each work center and order priorities? All this has to be planned in advance and then the work should be taken up. Then, then let us look into the advantages of job shop production. Because of general purposes of machines and facilities, variety of products can be produced. So, since we are using the general purpose machines here, we can produce a wide variety of products. Then operators will become more skilled and competent as each job gives them learning opportunities. So, as and when you keep on doing the wide range of orders you will be receiving, the persons who will be operating in a job shop house, so they will become more skilled and competent then full potential of operators can be utilized. So, you can use the creativity of the operators in the designing of the windows or whatever it is, so depending on the uh, creativity. Then opportunity exists for creative methods and innovative ideas. So, if the operator is a skilled person, then he can always make use of a skill in executing the ideas. Then, Next one, we have the limitations. Now, what are the limitations of job shop production? So, higher cost due to frequent setup changes. Now, we will, uh, now in case of a job shop production, so suppose the order is relating to one particular execution of one order, they would have just arranged the machines. Then, Next, after completion of the order, if there is another order, again, they may have to change the arrangement of the machines, planning, etc. So, for everything, we have to, since we have to change the arrangement and every other minute thing in the job shop floor, there will be a higher cost. Then, higher level of inventory at all levels and higher inventory cost. So, there will be a high cost of inventory in case of job shop production, then production planning is complicated here. So, why we say production planning is complicated? Because for each order, we have to plan. So, what is the depending on the design of the 
order. So we have to plan for production and we have to schedule the production in such a way that it will be feasible for the uh, order in hand. So for that we have to have proper production planning. Then next one is larger space requirements. So in this case of a job shop production, the requirement of space is very huge because for huge products you need huge places and as a result of which you will need a larger space for execution of the order. Next. The next kind of a production system is the batch production. Now what do we mean by batch production? It is defined by American Production and Inventory Control Society, EPIX. So it says that as a form of manufacturing in which the job passes through the functional departments in lots or batches and each lot may have a different routing. So this is a production, it is a job which passes through the functional departments in lots. So you will be producing the uh, uh, goods in lots or batches and each lot will have a different routing. So for each lot we will have a different process in case of a batch production. It is characterized by the manufacture of limited number of products produced at regular intervals and stocked awaiting sales. So this is um, characterized by manufacture. So you have a very limited number of products and it will be just produced at regular intervals and stocked awaiting sales. So you have to have a stock of these products and they'll have to wait for the sales. So such kind of a production, we call it as batch production. So it will be usually used in case of pharmaceuticals. So in the pharmaceutical industry, they will be producing only tablets and capsules and whatever the combination or the ingredient of each tablet or capsule will be different. So if you are producing it as a capsule, then there will be a different set of raw materials involved and each tablet will have its own composition and for each production of each tablet, you have to have a chemical combination of that particular tablet. And then once the one uh, tablet, if the batch production, they start the uh, production of one tablet, so it will be usually in batches or lots. So they may have 100 batches of that particular tablet and then stop it. Then next another tablet 100 batches again stop it. So for each of these uh, tablet production they will have a different chemical composition. So for the different chemical composition they will have to make use of the different kind of raw material. So it is important for the company to see that they have a different kind of a raw material every time the batch ends and another batch starts. So how much they have to plan for what is the number of uh, batches to be produced and what is uh, what is the uh, tablet to be produced every day. So everything has to be planned. So that is why we call that limited number of products produced at regular intervals and stocked awaiting sales. So it has to be stocked until it is sold. Then next we have batch production here. So the characteristics are when there is shorter production runs. So batch production can be undertaken when there is shorter production runs. So here we have the mixing of all the chemicals. Suppose for the production of the tablet. So you need to see that there is a proper mix of all the chemicals in that particular quantity and then it is neatly packed so that it is it will be usually a shorter production run second one where plant and machinery are flexible so this kind of a batch production is useful so where plant and machinery are flexible and plant and machinery setup used for production of item in a batch and change of setup is required for processing the next batch. So the plant and machinery will be flexible but with only the composition of the products which go into the making of the output will change. So for that the setup is required. Change in the setup and processing the next batch. So there will be a change in the setup 
when we are processing the next batch and then when manufacturing lead time and cost are lower as compared to job order production. So in case of this batch production, so the manufacturing lead time and cost are lower. So in case of job production, so you will have to just think about the, the time involved and the planning, proper planning will be necessary. But in case of batch production, we can see that there is the manufacturing time is less and cost involved also will be less as compared to the job shop production. Then next, what are the advantages of batch production? So there is better utilization of plant and machinery. So in case of batch production, so we can make use of the available plant and machinery to produce various batches of products. So each product will have a batch number and also the date of production, etc. And also the date of expiry. Then next with me, it promotes functional specialization. So in case of batch production, we can have functional specialization. Then cost per unit is lower as compared to the job order production. So we are getting, for example, if you can take the example of a drug manufacturing company. So they will be use, usually producing drugs in batches. And then these batches, you know, they will be, the cost per unit will be low in the sense that the tablets are available from between 2 rupees to 300 to 400 rupees also. So it is uh, the cost per unit is lower compared to the job order production. Then there is lower investment in plant and machinery. So in case of batch production, the investment in plant and machinery will be uh, lower. Then flexibility to accommodate and process number of products. So in case of this batch production, we have lot of flexibility to accommodate and process number of products. So you will be having the same products, but then it will be with a different composition. And then we have the flexibility to accommodate and produce newer products. Then job satisfaction exists for operators. So the operators will be handling this job uh, production, batch production, for them there will be job satisfaction. Next, the limitations of batch production. So here material handling is complex because of irregular and longer flows. So in case of batch production, we have to have a particular composition of that particular material for each batch. So material handling will be complex because of irregular and longer flows. So you have to handle the material until it goes into the machine. Then production and planning and control is complex. So we have a system of production planning and control, which is a complex system here. So for each batch of goods, we have to change the composition of the chemicals involved. And as such, it requires lot of planning. The work in process inventory is higher compared to the continuous production. So in this case, in this batch production, the work is comparatively higher. So we have to be very careful about what goes on into the composition of each batch of goods. So we have to take extra care and see that the, there is no variation in the quantity of materials used in the uh, manufacture. Then higher setup costs due to frequent changes in setup. So there will be high setup cost and depending on the production, whatever you are producing, there will be different changes in the setup. And as a result of which, each time you have to change the setup, the cost will be comparatively higher. So with this, we come to the end of this session. Hope you have all followed it. Thank you.